Guess who I just got off the phone with? Coralie, Jules. Coralie Jules. The Coralie Jules. Who's Coralie Jules? She's a big Hollywood filmmaker, the one who made all of the killer zombie movies, and get this, her next blockbuster movie is gonna be about three kids and the movie will be called, Three, Action, Heroes. Awesome, what's it about? Three, Action, Heroes. Huh, save your money it sounds like a flop. And get this, it's based on you guys. But wait, how do you even know her? Coralie is an old college friend. We spent a lot of time in the robotics lab together before she switched careers. Don't tell your mom but we even dated a bit. What happened? Sometimes people just grow apart. She dumped you didn't she? Worst day of my life. Anyway she wants the film to portray you guys accurately, so she invited us to her own mansion to research with the actor that's playing you guys. I think you mean actors. No, in the film there aren't three action heroes. To simplify it, there's just one that inherits all three of your abilities in fighting. So who is it gonna be? It's a new up-and-comer named Jack West. So they're just gonna throw some random for the lead role? I don't want any part of this. I hate to say it but, I agree with Leo, if you only have one chance in your life to have a movie it should be done right. Exactly, so who's playing me? Andrew, The Rock? Oh who am I kidding? Those guys can't bring the Kalu. Oh son, you're so confused. Alright, now make sure you don't embarrass me, I need my best impression. You seem kinda nervous, if I didn't know any better I'd think you were trying to get your old girlfriend back. Haha, ha, that's ridiculous, how's my hair? Yikes I think you have a grey hair. Grey hair? Welcome, come on in. Well, look at this place. Hey Jack, it's nice to meet you. Thanks, I'm really happy to- Coralie. Boris, nice to see you, still rocking the same old hair huh? I can change, what do you like? Side part middle part, mullet? Hi, I'm Coralie, I'm so honored to be telling your story, and this is Jack West, the actor who will be playing you in the movie. Hi. What's up guys it's really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming over so we can do our research. I can't believe I'm actually standing near Kalu, Rosie and Leo. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh uh, that's not normally what I lead with but, I'm not seeing anyone. Why hello Coralie, I'm Kalu, the most important member of the team. Of course, I know all about you Caillou. Then you must also know that my fascinating life would make a fantastic sequel. Jack, why don't you give Kalu, Rosie and Leo a tour? That'll give me and Coralie a chance to walk around and then after remember how adorable I am. We are gonna be walking for a very long time. So, you really think you have what it takes to be a hero? I hope so. I've been training really hard. Check this out it's one of Leo's moves. It's Leo time. What was that? It was your move. Hey don't worry. Once they add some special effects it will look really cool. No, because you're doing it wrong. It goes like this. It's Leo time. Oh thanks man. I totally see how that's different. Now for your movie, you should give me the lead role. Kalu, would you please give this lovely woman her space? If you need someone to write the end of your script I am your man. That kid, he would do anything to impress you, you know, Coralie. It's too bad that you couldn't see all of the other dangerous villains we've defeated. You should make a movie just about Layla. Layla? Yep, the woman of all villains. Believe it or not she is more powerful than Kalu, Rosie and Leo combined. Well, where is she? I don't know. Her creator was eliminated last year so the world may never find her again. Thanks for helping me out. Sure. I just wish Leo was as open about his abilities as you are. Don't take it personally, he's just really protective of his image. The truth is, I'm running out of time, I have to master his ability, if I don't Coralie is gonna fire me, I really don't wanna lose this role. Maybe I can help, what do you need? Stuff like, a power patch that can give me powers. If that's all you need, I could give you the power patch. Thanks Rosie. You're pretty. I know. So, 
Now that we're done working do you wanna go hit the pool? Sounds great. I'll go change. Don't be too long. Mission accomplished. I have the power patch. Perfect. Now we can finally take them out and rid the world of boring heroes forever. Thanks for stopping by at the stage and watching us film. Just so you know, I tried keeping the hair flat but it won't stay down. And this is the recreation of your home. Looks awesome. No, it doesn't. The walls look fake. The floor looks fake. Nothing in here looks like the real house. But your complaining is very authentic. Ugh, I had to take this call from my other movie, Killer Zombie Orthodontists. Orthodontists? Yeah, I know. We're really running out of ideas. Jack. What happened? You said you were gonna meet me at the pool and then you left without even saying goodbye. What do you want me to say? I'm not much of a water person. Great news. Since you were all so helpful, I'm putting you in the scene we're about to shoot. You want us to be in the movie? Yep, but instead of playing action heroes, you get to play the bad guys. What do you think? Let's go, we're gonna be in the movie, we're gonna be in the movie, we're gonna be in the movie. Oh, so now you're on board. Great, so then it's settled. I don't get it, Jack won't even talk to me, it's so weird. Not really, boys blow you off all the time. What if he's got another girl on set? So what? You just met the guy. We had a connection, I'm not crazy. Look. All I'm saying is that if he is seeing someone else, I need to know about it, so I can go sabotage it. Girls, always so desperate. I hope Corley is not seeing someone else. Huh? Self-absorbed much? Huh? Let's see who Mr. Popular is getting messages from. Hurry, we gotta be back on set. This is what I wanted to show you. I finished analyzing the power patch. Then we're good. As soon as we're ready to film, we'll do it. My picture. Come on, let's go. Okay, we're about to start filming. Positions, please. Where is Rosie? We'll take care of her later. Just make sure to use the real weapon on them. My pleasure. Okay, just like we rehearsed. Boris, Kalo and Leo will say your lines, then Jack will shoot you. Lights, camera, action. Any sign of the action, hero? I think we lost him. I told you we'd get away with it. I agree. Thanks for making it so easy. No. What are you doing? You just ruined the scene. And my tech was perfect. This is all a trap. Coralie lured us here so that Jack could take us out with this. Rosie, that's a prop. Really? I'm lost. Are we still doing the scene? No, this isn't even a real movie. What? Coralie, what is going on? Go ahead, tell them. The only reason I've been making movies all these years was to capture Kayla, Rosie, and Leo. What about me? Why does everyone forget about me? I gave my androids all of your abilities, but the one I couldn't get was the power patch. Why didn't you just ask me for it? We could have worked together. I don't want to work with you. My technology is far superior, you're my competition, and the first rule of business is to eliminate the competition. Really? I thought it was promotion, promotion, promotion. This is crazy, there is no way that your android technology is that advanced. Oh really, Jack? Why don't we show them? Jack's a killer android. You really know how to pick him, Rosie. Now that I have the schematics for the power patch, I can give it to all of my androids. Wait, how do you have those schematics? Rosie gave them to me. What? I'm sorry he tricked me. Nice work, Jack. Finish them off. Wait. If you destroy me, you destroy Corley's laptop with the power patch schematics. Ugh, who cares? 
I have backups all over my servers. Not if we create a virus that takes out your entire network. Quick, hand me the laptop. We need time to feel the virus. Ow. Just wait for it, it's gonna hurt any second now. No? Okay then. Got it, the virus is out. Haha, -ha. we just fried all your servers, just like you fried my heart. Surround them. Hey, where are you taking him? Since Leo destroyed my network, we're going to destroy Leo. Not if we stop you. That's not gonna happen, this entire set is rigged with explosives, and once they detonate, the world will think it's an unfortunate accident. <coughs> Goodbye Boris, and thanks for giving me the last piece of the puzzle. Kelly, are you okay? Yeah, but I'm not sure about my performance. Can we start at the top? <laughs> okay, I don't know what's more annoying. The beeping sound counting down the seconds to our death, or that. I'm gonna go with that. Lock him up. Where am I? And why am I stuck to this chair? My robotics lab, the lever over there is rendering you stuck to the chair. Can I get you anything? Water, tea? Sharp pain in your neck as we rip your neck open. You know, I was built in that very chair. Kind of funny. It's where I had my first day, and you're having your last. All this technology and you couldn't give him a sense of humor. My androids have superior intelligence, which makes them not vulnerable to things like pain or emotion or lives ending. Kaylee, Rosie and Boris will come for me. I'm sure they would, if they weren't about to be involved in a tragedy. Tragedy? What are you talking about? 10 seconds. Wait something's weird, why would Coralie leave all her androids behind to blow up with us? <laughs> Three seconds. No. Well, that's a wrap on the three of them. Wait, what is that? They escaped. But that's impossible. Looks like you need my intelligence more than your stupid robots do. I'm just playing, don't use the chainsaw, don't use the chainsaw. Great idea, Kalu. How did you know that grabbing onto an android while they were teleporting would teleport us out too? I didn't. I just figured if I'm getting blown up I'm taking one of them with me. We gotta find Leo. Poor Leo, this is all my fault. Notice nobody's saying no, it's not. I'm serious. I trusted Jack and now Leo may die because of it. That's what you get for falling in love with an android. Hey, compared to some of the other guys she's liked, it's a step up. Ooh, I should have thought of this sooner, the Find My Phone app. His GPS signal's not coming up, Coralie must have deactivated it. Great so now Leo's fate lies in the hands of your evil ex-girlfriend. Hey, at least she's human. I bet Kaiyu, Rosie, and Boris are tracking me down as we speak. And when they do, I'll take them out. Forget about them. It's time to destroy Leo. I'm going to grab something sharp. Ugh, sounds messy. Better go get my hairnet. Computer, disabled chair. How'd you get out? I'd tell you, but then I'd have to battle you. I'm gonna battle you anyway I disable the chair with your computer. <laughs> ah! 
Abs of steel bruh, literally. What is happening? It's called a power patch, and this is called reversing polarity, bruh. Were you really gonna waste my ability on this trash? Of course not, Jack is the old model, it took me 20 years to get him programmed to this level and he is still unreliable, your ability's going into my new fleet of androids. What? Say hello to the future. Each andro takes the appearance of whatever human I program it to be. This is my Uncle Jerry. A 50 year old with a gut. No offense but the only thing Uncle Jerry could destroy is a ho guy. If you think that hurt, wait till you meet my Aunt Betty. Leo could be everywhere, literally everywhere. And if he's in pieces he could be everywhere, literally everywhere. Wait a second. I do have Coralie's phone number, would it be worth to just call her? You don't wanna seem too eager, wait two days until you ask her out again. Yeah, good idea. Are you insane? Call her. Hello? So, just calling to say hey, quick question, I know it's been about 20 years but have you seen my grey hoodie? Give it up Boris, I know you're trying to trace me, you're too late. Hey, is that Uncle Jerry? Where have you been man you dropped out of our fantasy football league? Uncle Jerry is one of my new androids, I can give him whatever human form I want, see? We're going to track you down and get your location. You can't leave now, you've got company. Ugh, not a good time dude can you come back later? How are we gonna get past him? We have to get to Leo. One of us will have to battle them. Rosie, you help track Coralie, Boris and I will distract the android. You know what? I'm gonna leave that to you, I'm a lover, not a fighter. And today, you're the victim. Ah. You know, I decided to have kids specifically so others would fight my battles. These things aren't humans, they're machines. There's got to be some sort of internal power source we can take out so they'll deactivate. You know, when me and Coralie built androids in school, we would always fight about where to put the power source. I said in the neck for easy access, she said in the nose so it's not exposed. It's actually why we broke up. Trust me that is not why you broke up. The point is, I bet his power source is in his nose. We just gotta get in there and shut it down. I am not sticking my fingers in his nose. Well you can get in there other ways, it's just gonna take you longer to get there. This isn't working. One of us has to distract him so the other one can get in that nose flip his switch and shut him down and guess what, you're up again. Come on son, you gotta dig, get in there. Come on, this is disgusting, got it. Ah. Did she really have to give them robos not? Actually, that was my idea, ha ha ha. Kalu and Rosie are here. I knew they would come for me. How'd I know? Because I... Well if I was able to move I'd be pointing at my head saying brilliant. They may have gotten past one android, but let's see how they do with ten of them. No, I may be one of your older models but I can easily take those two. Then do it. I can't find him anywhere. Me neither. Uh, uh, come on, let's go. 
Oh look, Jack's here, I should give you two some alone time. Kalu. Which one of you should I take out first? Coralie? Voice. Wait, you make movies build robots and you can fight? I know I'm supposed to hate you but can I just say, you go girl. Whoa, hey you tell me how to do that and I'll give you the power patch. Corley. You may have cool abilities but there's one thing you haven't learned. Real heroes hit people when their backs are turned. Leo. He's not breathing. There's no pulse. Oh no this isn't happening. Come on Leo. Caillou, Caillou, Caillou. It's over, he's gone. And it's all my fault. Oh, ho, oh, what a shame, you arrived too late. I will destroy you, for what you did to him. I'm so sorry for you loss, but why mourn your friend, when you should join him? Yeah, join me in kicking your butt, Leo. Wait, there's two of you. How is this possible? After you were gone I used my computer skills to vocally redirect the android's blade to cut me free. Wait then who is on the table? My android replica. Quarterly was silly enough to show me how she makes them, so I distracted her and her android and made one who looks like me. Well done, but there's plenty more where he came from. I guess androids aren't immortal after all. Technically they're not dead just deactivated. It's a good line just go with it. I thought I'd seen the last of you Boris. Yeah? Well this time, I'm breaking up with you. Hey. Jack, it's about time you got here. What are you waiting for? Take them out. Oh I will, but I'm taking you out first. What? What are you doing? Surviving. You said you were gonna get rid of me, so I'm gonna get rid of you, and once I do, I'll be in charge of all your androids. You? No one's gonna take you seriously. Then I'll make them take me seriously. We won't just take out Kalu, Rosie and Leo, we'll take out all humans. Goodbye Coralie. Save me and I'll get coffee with you. Dad. Maybe now you'll take me seriously, human. Get him. One more step, and I'll eliminate her. Caillou, use your power patch. No, it'll take you out too. Jack has no regard for human life. If taking me out means saving others then do it. I can't. He's gonna take me out anyway you might as well take him out too. She's right. Ha 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 ha. They don't have the guts. It's okay. I'm not much of a water person. You owe me a swim. Nah, ooh, 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 ooh. 
That was amazing. How did you know how to do that? I finally realized why Jack didn't like water. Old androids must be like cell phones. Wait, so does this mean the role in three action heroes is up for grabs? Wait, where did Quarterly go? Oh man, the good ones always get away. I mean, oh no. Leo, I'm sorry. I can't believe I trusted Jack just because he was cute, and tall, and ripped. Yeah well now he's mangled melted and dead. Hey, what's important is that everyone's okay, and Coralie is still out there, but without her androids she's powerless, she's got nothing left. Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. There we go. Jack was such a disappointment. But you won't be. Hello, Lila.